Okay. Fighters are about endurance. Compare a normal drill and a pneumatic drill. A pneumatic drill with breathing it has much more power to uh, maintain performance like uh, round after round after round. Give me your ass! <laughs> you did the round and then <laughs> lactate is inside, it changes it into glucose in the one minute. This is what I teach people, that people are able to do. Yeah. And with that, they learn uh, how uh, the power of the mind is working to control action, peace, action, rest, action, rehabilitation, action, reparation. En nu gaan we in de vrieskast, dat is uh, min 20. Ja, dat moeten we ook nog doen. Denk ik. Dat is een beetje vuur wel, jongens. Well, it makes you feel like uh, invincible in a way. Uh, you know, dealing with gold is uh, something not everybody can do. But uh, it's mostly mind over matter. And uh, the, same, the same things you encounter here, you will encounter in the ring as well. So, everything in life is mind over matter. If you, if you set your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. So that's, that's what uh, Vimov teaches you with the ice method. How does it look? It's cold, but it's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's mental, mental training. You know, we train uh, physical a lot, but now it's different, it's mental. Yeah, how does, how, does, well, how does it feel mentally? What, what goes through your mind? Well, you, you're scared in the beginning and you have to go over that fear and then jump and go in cold, stay there for three minutes, yeah. and go into your head and yeah. it's, it's really good. The tournament setup is something new, it's something that I think nobody expected, but it's good. I think it's, um, like I said, it's something new and it brings another hype to the whole, to the whole new system and the whole new era that we're in with new pay-per-view and everything that's going on. So yeah, we're here to support, so let's do it. Ja, volgende week moet je er staan. Ja, je schakelt gelijk door, want er komt gelijk glory, er komt gelijk met een oplossing en een nieuwe, nieuwe, nieuwe tegenstander, nieuwe potentiële tegenstanders. Dus ja, het is gelijk schakelen en uh, we pakken door. You always need a reason to believe why you're fighting somebody and a reason why people should watch, uh, watch a fight. So uh, people know him from that moment for the rest. Yeah, as a fighter, people. Uh, the the big the wide audience doesn't know him from fighting but uh like the fight the fight sport fans uh, uh know hesty from like because he's a long time he's in the game so that's what got me excited for that fight was that moment that he triggered me and he was triggered so i was like yeah Let's do it. Why not? Nou. Oké, okay, nou ik heb als je als als jou dat als jou dat een heel fijn gevoel geeft, heb ik jou uitgedaagd en volgende week en volgende week mag je het proberen. I expect that he's going to bring a hard fight because that's what he always does. He he comes forward, pushes and like I got to take my head off to him because he took the fight on a 10 days notice. That really shows that you're a, you know, you're a brave guy. So <laughs> he's definitely a brave guy, but it doesn't mean he's smart.
Yes, the last time was of course uh, Miami. So after that, we have Corona. And now we're here, you know, the party is going well. Good training. I'm uh, most of the time with Mike or with Sander. And we're doing well, you know, different kind of training, different kind of preparation, but everything is going well, you know. Now we just fought like two years ago. And he said he was Champions League, I was Super League. It's like the second division in the Netherlands, you know. He told, yes, he's Super League before the fight. And then we fought, I kicked his butt. And since, since then he's thinking that I'm talking about him. But that's not true, you know. I won the fight, why should I chase somebody who I already beat? You know, that's, that's weird, you know. That's some bullshit, you get me? But now we are here, the rematch. And we will see what's going to happen, you know. We will see. Most people think that he's, he has speed, you know, most people think that he's fast, but I'm faster than he is, you know, I'm faster than he is, and I'm younger than he is. So, I think that I grow more than the last couple of years than he did, you know. I, got, I think I got better than him, but you will see that, you know, I'm faster than him, and I'm obviously stronger than him, better looking, you know, just physical. So, I think that that is gonna be the keys for me, you know faster and stronger. I, I'm going to win, of course. <laughs> I'm going to take the W home, you know. Too much, uh, everything is done. Everything is already in the pockets. You just have to uh, finish some weight, weight cut, that's it. It's, everything is already done. So I can't wait for the Saturday. If it's me, it's gonna happen, definitely. Because I'm ready for it. I can't wait. You know, things have to be done now. All the talking, all the... everything. <laughs> Saturday we're gonna end, end up all the, the love story between him and me. <laughs> this is gonna be me. And uh, I think he's gonna be talking a lot because he's kind of nervous. I'm just going to be Myrtle, the new version. Yeah. All the months we have been, pre we have been in preparation, uh, he's been really been focused on, on the media and on putting things on his Instagram about me, talking about me, and I have been focused on him. I've never been focused on, on, on all the things he's been saying about me or something. And the new! Welterweight champion of the world, Myrtle Gerunat, for sure. <laughs> I'm counting on it. I'm sick. I have a flu. I think, uh, you know, I'm taking some medication, natural oils, plants. I think it's gonna be good. But still, even if I'm not good, I have to fight. I can't quit. <laughs> I can't do like him. Even with the flu, I will win the fight. So I just have to sweat, sweat a lot, and then uh, the sick will get out. That's why. And then after, I will take a bath with some oil, eucalyptus, and then it's gonna be good. When I sweat, I feel better, you know, I already feel better right now because I'm starting to sweat, so it's good. I'm breathing, I'm breathing better. Bad luck, huh? fight day. I caught a flu. Crazy. Crazy. But it is what it is. Fight life. This is the fight life. My foot was a balloon.
Very crazy. <laughs> Very crazy. I miss you. I miss you. I miss I miss Holland. Very good Holland. Foi muito bom porque só dei continuidade né, nessa pandemia aí. Eu sei que foi uma, uma parada muito louca aí para para muitos atletas, para muitas famílias, né? Pessoas que perderam, pessoas queridas, né? Familiares. Graças a Deus, é, minha família está bem. Então isso me deu condição para mim continuar treinando, continuar trabalhando. Boa. Estou mais que preparada. Nunca tive tão preparada que nem agora. Só. Só. É. Pode esperar um show, né? Eu, Maktov, quando luta, nós proporcionamos isso para todo mundo que gosta do kickbox. E não vai ser diferente se vai vir nocaute, se não vai. É, como eu já falei em todas as entrevistas minhas, para mim não importa. Né? Se eu nocautei é porque eu venho bem preparado, venho bem treinado e isso acontece natural. De lá pra cá eu venho treinando, não, não parei, essa pandemia eu e meu irmão a gente vem treinando sempre. Mesmo ele longe, quando ele foi viajar, a gente treinava por vídeo. Então eu acho que eu só fui me aperfeiçoando mais. Aí tipo, ela não, a menina vai querer se armar pra trocar porrada, é onde ela vai tomar. Entendeu? Tem que se fazer, ó, pá, pá, pá. Aí na hora que ela aproximar, conseguiu aproximar, adiantou mais do que você, aí você para e já coloca o dia direto. Muito. <risos> Eles não deixam faltar um dia de treino. <risos> É, como eu disse, era o meu sonho, né? Chegar no topo, ser campeão junto com meu irmão. Isso pra mim é um sonho. E eu tô muito feliz, eu quero poder mudar a vida da minha família e fazer história junto com ele. Okay guys, respect my command man, protect yourself for all time, make a good fight, Just glove if you like. Ready? Ready? Fight! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! 30 seconds! 10 seconds fight! Cedric don't be! Oh! Oh! He spent some time! Fight! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh, Cedric Tombe! Better Gronos is out! It's out! Ding, 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 ding. I'm the best, so may the rest win. I told you guys. Shut COVID! He's done! He's done in it! Будет для меня очень много что значит для меня, для моей команды, и мы готовы на все сто процентов. Один из главных и важных моих боев в моей жизни, поэтому мы будем готовы на все сто процентов. It's very important fight for me and my team, so it's uh, one of the important uh, fights in my life. So we are ready on hundred <laughs> percent. Silist. Ну, у Перейра достаточно серьезный соперник, возможно, на данный момент самый серьезный соперник в моей карьере бойцовской. Мы это все понимаем, мы просмотрели много боев с командой, разобрали все ошибки и, в принципе, готовы, готовы удивить его и забрать и подтвердить свое звание чемпиона. 
Pereira really one of the serious guys uh, from all the fighters. So uh, we watched a lot of fights from uh, his career. So we are ready and uh, we're ready to surprise him a little bit. Well, hello everybody and welcome at the official weigh-in of Glory 77. We start off with a bout in the light heavyweight division. First fighter to get on the scale, Donaghy Abena. Luis, the infamous Tavares. Gentlemen, Luis Tavares and Donaghy Abena. And then we go to our first title fight of the evening, a fight in the Super Bantam division. Let's introduce the contender first, Aline Pereira. And then introducing the Glory Super Bantam champion of the world, fighting out of the United States of America, it's Tiffany Time Bomb Van Soos. We're going to bring up the four fighters of the tournament. Has the fighter Hart Gerges. He is. The king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven. Making his glory debut, Nari the Tank Kvabez. Levy the Judge, Richters. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, the fighters in the heavyweight tournament of Glory 77. It's Myrtle the Predator, Frunhard. And now let's introduce our glory welterweight champion of the world, Cedric, the best, Dumbe. And that's it, the welterweight belt on the line for those two guys. Bring out the contender, here's Alex Pereira. And then here's the reigning glory light heavyweight champion of the world, it's Artem Vajito. Alex Pereira and Artem Vajito. There's a lot of tension, there's a lot on the line. Make sure you go to glorygeekfunction.com and get your favorite view. Because it's time for glory. 